Let's go for this. So let's allow Mr. Nidorf to play the Nidorf. Uh, he disconnected, I'm afraid. I oh, know, he's back. Okay, fine. So how do we beat how do we beat Nidorf in the Nidorf? I don't know. Let's try my old trick. Let's go bishop e2 and knight f5 here. This is a funny, funny offbeat line that um, that I used to beat Grishuk in uh, one of the blitz games. So d5 is a move here, I believe. Bishop takes f5 is also fine, but at least then we get a play. But d5 is a move. Okay, then we go bishop g5. Now I think d4 is a move. So the point is that after, yeah, doesn't matter what's the point. So d4 is correct. Now after g takes knight b1, it's a very sharp position that is maybe went better for white, maybe not, but at least it's a game. So queen takes f6 was the main move. And now we just play, so black has two bishops and a very good pawn structure, but white has some light squares and uh, uh, some potential to attack, to attack the black king. This is ambitious. Uh, okay, let's just castle, just in case. Rook g8, wow. This is a really cool player. Okay, let's try to develop the pieces. Let's go knight d2. Bishop c4 also looked reasonable, followed by queen h5, but uh, knight d2 looks even more solid to me. Yeah, this runs into bishop c4, followed by uh, knight xc4, which once again is not the end of the world, obviously, but at least we're happy to see that. Yeah, this still allows knight xc4, queen c4, knight f6, and knight xg check. Rook takes g2 is not a drama at all, so yeah, I guess we just take. He'll probably go knight d7 and play, but then, yeah, at least we have some material. Bishop is seven. This looks really strange. So we can just take on d4. There is nothing wrong with that, I believe. He plays bishop d7. So it's not that ambitious after all. He just tries to finish the development being um, being two pawns down already. What could we play here? Queen d5 just leads to, to an ending that is dead loss for black. Mm, is there something cool here? Okay, queen d5 is good enough, actually. I mean, I know this is not what you expect, but okay, can I play just one boring game in a row, please? Two extra pawns in an ending is uh, good enough. Okay. Let's just take, and yeah, now we are two pawns up with no compensation at all. Yeah. So now all, all the moves are decent. So bishop d5 kind of makes sense, but uh, yeah, it allows him to castle. After castling, we have f4, knight g4, bishop takes f7. Yeah, then he has some counterplay maybe. We could also just play bishop e2 here or bishop b3. I actually like bishop b3 for some reason. Don't know why. Rook g4, wow, we are under attack. I'm scared. Okay, can I play f4, please? Somehow it turns out we will not be checkmated. Well, never say never, obviously, but 
I feel like we should survive this um, overwhelming attack. Yeah, now we collect some, okay. Okay, thanks for the game. Short but tense one. Um, what else do we have here? 